All right, uh, let's see. Alzheimer fraud. I don't know if you've been reading about this, but it's funny because a, a few weeks ago I did a show um, where we talked about Alzheimer research and the fact that Alzheimer research was captured relatively early on by people who had a particular theory about what caused Alzheimer amyloid deposits, um, and they restricted funding, they restricted publication, they restricted conference uh, uh, presentation uh, for people who offered alternative theories and alternative research paths. Um, this is part of the problem of having so much scientific research come from the government, get pushed through some kind of centralized entity that a few people can control it all. Uh, turns out that amyloid deposits is probably not the right approach to um, uh, Alzheimer's. Uh, we're probably 20 years behind where we should be if we'd focused on other things. It turns out that one of the key papers that generated the, the amyloid hypothesis or that reinforced the amyloid hypothesis and that got people excited about it and that funneled so much energy and resources and money into it uh, it turns out that some of the images on it, the images that showed amyloid deposits in the brain, were doctored. Were doctored to make it look worse than it was. The doctored to make it look like something was there when maybe it was still there, but weaker. And now there's a massive scandal within medicine, within the research community, within the publications, about how did this happen, how is this allowed to happen, how is it, and, and it's been discovered because somebody did a, an analysis of these images and discovered that something's off, something's not right. And, and think of the tragedy in something like this. The whole field has gone off in a wrong direction for, this was, study was probably 16 years ago, for 16 years, this is one of the most debilitating, horrible diseases that are known to man today. Um, it, it's an awful way to live, it's an awful way to die. And um, we could have been years, decades ahead of where we are if the resources and the energy had gone into these al to alternative explanations. We, maybe they would have come to nothing. But we'd be ahead in our knowledge because ruling out certain hypotheses advances knowledge. So I'm super upset about this, but this is... This is part of the whole model of the way we've structured scientific funding, the way we've structured our universities, the way we've structured publish or perish, the way we've structured our journals and, and the importance we put on, uh, on journals and the way peer review works and the value of peer review or the disvalue of some peer review. Real thought and effort needs to be put in into how to disrupt the whole model of academic research. And the problem is it's very difficult to disrupt a model that is being funded with tens, hundreds of billions of dollars by the government. So hard to tell. Hard to tell, but it needs to be disrupted. The whole, from basic research to publication to tenure to journals, something has to give. There's, there's, there's real corruption there. There's real bad stuff there. The, the COVID brought it out. Uh, with just, you know, uh, ridiculous statements and publications on bo all sides. Um, and, and the peer review process fell apart, and who is a specialist, the idea fell apart. We could do better. There's no question in my mind it can be done better. And, and there are other re research questions. I, I, you know, the whole fat paradigm, you know, uh, 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 you know, that fat is bad for you, that for years dominated and was based on certain research, and it turns out the research is flawed, and it turns out again that alternatives, even to this day within mainstream medicine, alternatives are shunned. People don't want to talk about it. People won't publish on it. People won't fund the research on it. There's got to be a way to privatize all that and to create competition around it, create... Uh, create you know, pride around it so that people don't feel like they have to doctor pictures or publish or perish, literally. It's way too hard. It's way, way, way too hard. There's so much money. There's so much talent. And we're getting a fraction of the results we should be getting. A fraction.
given the potential that's out there, given the money, given the uh, primarily given the people, given the talent that is involved. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content, and of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.